Some, Some would play. play. All right. Are we doing like a recap or anything? I'm not doing it. One, two, three, not it. Not it. I'll recap you up. Do you remember what happened? S- bits and pieces. I'm sure that as soon as... I think as- it's time for... Dad's Minutes. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> what did everyone say? <laughs> I said Matt's Minutes. <laughs> I said Daphne's Debrief. Okay, so last time you guys entered... You want to do it? Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> last time y'all entered the dungeon. Uh, Matt's Minutes. The, the Good job for us. Lost Dungeon of Rickedness with the Big Rick Energy. Uh, you, you you plowed through. You did some stuff. Uh, Ari Strongbow lost her butt. <laughs> <laughs> I did do that. That was pretty funny. Um, you you went into a room full of like Mortys, basically Mortys, little <laughs> bastards, oh, little geez, little pieces right? of shit. You know, they weren't super fucking helpful. You thought they might be. They're awful. You didn't solve the riddle. You lost your shit. You got it all back. Um, That's true. You that get to the me seeks. You had me seeks try to help you with shit. You know. Look at me. He did what he could. You know, it's the me seeks. Uh, They're you, not God. You right. met, I think his name was Tommy. Did we meet a Tommy? I don't remember. Oh, I remember anybody. now. I remember now. Yeah, you went into Tommy Two Butts' room. He's got two butts, okay, and a bone to pick with the butt trap. He's not a big fan. He's not, not into that. Doesn't want to lose his two butts. He's got two butts. He loves his two butts. And you all... Mostly Daphne helped him make. Yeah, are you fucking around? Because like I think me and Jebra were lion? this close mm-hmm. to falling asleep the last. Yeah, no, at you the guys very were. End. You guys were rough. We it were, was bad. You were rough. <laughs> That's why I'm trying to get us going so we don't end up there again. But Lion mostly uh, helped Tommy. Good job, Lion. Over an hour, Thanks. build the churd cannon, uh, which is yeah. needed no. to defeat the butt trap. I remember that word. I don't remember anything about. Did we so, actually? Did we defeat the trap? Oh my yet? god, no. we were falling asleep. No, no, we were. Bad. And that's, that's where we ended. You, you built the churd, the churd cannon. It's a legendary weapon. Great name. With one charge. Will Ari get her butt back? Will Ari get her butt back? Oh yeah, I still don't have my butt. Right. Find out in this episode of. It's still somewhat someone play. Play. someone play yeah. Rick and Morty edition. <laughs> 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 All right, so uh, you're in you're in uh, Tommy Two Butts room. You've just built the churd cannon. Congratulations. Thanks, Lion. You're welcome. Now, you're welcome. You can assist Tommy, Tommy Two Butts, <laughs> on his quest to defeat the butt trap. He's got two butts. He does not like the butt trap. He is not a fan. He's not here for it. He's not giving a shit about it. He's want to kill it. It's got tons of butts in it. There's a butt cache in in the butt trap. So what do you guys want to do? You're in. You're in the room. Fire the k- churd cannon, right? Well, you don't. Have are we? Are we in oh, the room? I think we have to go back. Trap? I think we have to go back to the butt trap. Room. You're not in the room with the butt trap. You're in Tommy Two Butts' room, and there's a door. Um, Didn't we so have you came someone in. taking us somewhere, or was the that to the yeah. churd cannon? Yeah, and he just yeah. We, we had the meat, right. but okay. he's gone. He um. I did take the box, however. Did. So you came in and from the meat. north, and yep. there is a, a door to. So you come in from the north, like from the top. So there's a door to the right and a door to the left. Or you could go back the way you came to get back to the butt trap. How big is this church cannon? Is it on wheels? Like, Do we have to like push it? I mean, because I'm looking at a cannon in my head that looks That's Tommy Two like Butts with this church cannon. A piece of poop. So it's kind of like, it, it's kind of large, but you could carry it. Yeah, he's he's holding it. He looks like a werewolf with two butts. I mean, I mean that... you don't see the butts, but they're implied. That is not uh, what I tur- was picturing. That's at a all. turd cannon, baby. You can carry it. It's all good. All right. Hey, Which Tommy's we probably go? gonna carry it, man. He's got it. Oh, I got the I got the turd cannon now. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, let's go. Let's go. Let's go kill that butt trap. All right, lead the way. All right. So Tommy goes back through the way you guys came. Hey, He's just gonna. Tommy, real quick though, what? How does that? What's a turd cannon do? It destroys the butt trap. All right. That's, okay. that's its only purpose. It's got one charge. I want to kick that butt trap's ass. That's what I've been building in here. All right. Good that's all up. I care about. All right. Let's go get him. All right. We follow Tommy Two Butts. Okay. Tommy Two Butts takes you back through uh, the way you came. You pop over. You're in that room you just came from. It's all good. Everything's cool here. Nothing Nothing bad's happening. Once you, once you pass a room, it's all good. Um. He takes you back into the next room you went to, 
and there's there's two doors in this room. So in the, in the previous the room you were just in, not Tommy's room, but the room afterwards, there was only one way out. So we went through that way. But now we're in a circular room that you've already been through, mm. and there are two doors. Mm-hmm. And so you came through the um, the north door. Call it the north door. The up up and ways straight forward. If you were going to continue on forward, basically it's a little off to the right, but not enough that it would be to the right. But there's also a door on the left. And Tommy stops in this room and looks around, and he's like, what do you guys think? Should we go through the front door or the, the, the side door over here? Both doors will get us to where we're going at some point. Which way did you guys come? I mean, we came in through the north door. Well, then we should probably just take that door again. I mean, do we really want to go back through the Mortys? I mean, maybe we could bring one with us. <laughs> And do what? They're they're pieces of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I know, but like maybe we, just, like a shield. They're just little pieces of shit. Of and sorts. They're not. Yeah. They'll probably just try to eat all our food or something. <laughs> <laughs> and complain. Exactly. And, yeah. and, you know, make our location known. Yeah, let's go the other way then. They all withered and died, by the way. They're dead? Yeah, yeah. When you guys completed <laughs> the gem puzzle, they all withered and died. I or definitely more. said that because oh, it's in here. But. I forgot. Um, they I ain't mean, there anymore. we're in no hurry to get your butt back, right, Ari? We can take over. I mean, I definitely need to have it back sometime. I'm getting a little constipated. <laughs> yeah, you're kind of ballooning up. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, maybe we should just we maybe we should just hurry back there, and then we'll adventure on. Do you, okay. So, when which you, way, you guys? What, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know which way we said we're going. Not to Morty's. I- Mort- Not Morty way, well, the other way. Back the way Here. we already came, or a, a yeah, even way. back the way we came. Odd. Nice. The okay. other way. You ready? Four. So back the way we came. Okay. All right. So uh, Tommy Two Butts leads you back into a, another circular room. On, on this room, there's a door to the left and a door to the right. As you guys enter, um, you you came through the door to the left, and and Tommy's going to take you that way because that's. It, the, way. the way you've chosen, that's the way to get back to the butt room. So you pass through another hallway. It's a bit longer than, than the other hallways. Not not a lot longer. There's longer hallways to come. But this one, you know, it's not like a immediately connecting room. you got to walk a, a little bit. And you pop back into a rectangular room. There's there's only one door there. And uh, that that was probably, I think that was the uh, crazy wizard room. But he's, mm. you know, he's done. Mm-hmm. So you, you kind of just wander back through. You pass through a door again. And you come to that T hallway, but Tommy knows that we're going to the butt room. He's got a bone to fucking pick. He's in it to win it. And so uh, you immediately pop into the butt room through that next door in the hallway just straight across. So you're in the butt room. It's uh, got one door across from you where you just entered. There's another door across from you. Just one door. Is there straight anybody across. else in the butt room? Nope. Just the butt trap. Just the butt trap is in the butt room. What are you guys going to do? Who wants to try to shoot the butt cannon? Hey, Tommy, do you, know how, cannon? do you know how to shoot it? Oh, hell yeah, we just shoot the thing. We just shoot the butt trap. Hey, butt, we're going to wipe the floor with <laughs> Do we have to shoot it? Because do we have to shoot it like at the thing above the mound? Or do we shoot it at the mound butt thing? Like, oh, it's a genius weapon, sorry. I feel like it won't be a one shot thing right well i just want to make sure we're shooting at the right thing yeah if it's only one shot probably okay, so right at the sphincter too let me, right let me, or do we agree on that shoot shoot for sphincter let me give you the room flavor again so it's a pair of perfectly rounded stone mounds cleft artly artfully straight down the middle it looks a lot like a butt There's something shiny near the ceiling about four feet above what can only be described as this huge butt Okay, I can't. I'm so the butt trap so was the trouble. shiny thing on the ceiling. Okay, so we need to shoot the shiny thing on the at, ceiling at the butt trap. Why not, in not my butt, head have I trap. imagined a talking ass this whole time? I don't know. I mean, there was a talking wall. Maybe that's what you're thinking. I'm blending them. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's what. There's I'm a saying. giant mouth. Yeah. Um, can I pretend that that's a sphincter up there, though? Yeah, sure. Why not? You can pretend whatever you want. Thanks, man. It's your world. Mm. It's, You're no? just living in it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I take the churd cannon. I aim it for the butt trap and say, give me back my butt. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put my shield. I'm going to get say, get behind me. And like, like you can do over my shield. Because what if that it's shiny? Like, what if it reflects right back on us? So... 
get behind me and then fire over. I also think this is the Rick and Morty Dungeons and Dragons. I don't think it's that (laughs) that deep, but okay. I mean, I get behind your shield. Meta. Are you behind my shield? Mm hmm. Okay. Do you have a shield? Of course I have a shield. I thought Meat Face was a shield. (laughs) Well, get behind me. (laughs) (laughs) And then I shoot. I aim it above your shield and I say, give me back my butt! And I shoot off the churn cannon. Oh man, it explodes like the the butt trap is boom. (laughs) But there's like this celestial light that emanates from it, just lights up the entire room. This just beautiful like heavenly light just shimmering and and all these butts fly out of the trap just flying out like but like fleshy butterflies just fucking all right which one they're yours? floating flying and re- and they're returning to their original owners you don't have to chase them oh uh they're flying out of this room and to the rest of the dungeon you you imagine that some butts have been stolen in this dungeon it's their butt souls then yeah, they're they're my- going back to their owners now the butts are fucking they're going whoo, flying like Oh, I bet they miss their plans. owners. Good times. Ari gets her butt back. It flies Yay! right back to her, reattaches. Yay. She becomes a butted person again. Good times. Ah, good times. Find that toilet again. Oh, <laughs> good times on that butt stuff. All right. So Tommy, Tommy, after you know seeing that it's been completed, he's so fucking excited. Oh, fuck that butt trap. <laughs> this is the best. Way to go, everyone. Thank you so much for helping me out here. I just fucking hate that butt trap. I got two butts, you know. I don't want to lose either one of them. Fuck that thing. This fucking dungeon. This stupid ass butt trap trying to take my two butts. Not today. Bye. Not leaves. today. <laughs> uh, no, no gold money. I know. No award. Is there reward? anything to no. Uh, no. loot? You got your butt back. From Sphincter? No, nah, there's nothing. Damn. Loot. Okay, well, what now? All right. So, uh, you know, you, you're in the butt room. There's two doors, one behind you, one going back forward the way you've been now. And I guess the other one behind you is the way you've been also, but in the far past. All right. So let's go forward again. Ooh, Gross. Sorry. Okay. So you're in the hallway. Uh, directly across from you in this hallway is another door, but also in the middle of the hallway, there's a passage to the right, which leads to another door. So Which way didn't we go before? You didn't go to the right before. You went straight forward. All right, you guys want to go right? Mm-hmm. Good. Let's go right. At least I'm pretty sure that's the way it must have been. It has to have been. Yes. So this time you're going right. Uh, you see a door. Do you go through it? Mm. Check for traps. I, I just go through it. Yeah, I mean, fuck it. I walk behind Meat Face. Mm. Good idea. I'm imagining Meat Face is a lot bigger than I am. Very much. I am a human, actually, though. And you're like a half-elf, so you're probably pretty tall, too. We might be about the same height, but I'm definitely larger. Because half-elves are like six-footers, right? Or so. It doesn't say. Mm. It does not. (laughs) Oh, shit. That's my character. That's Meat Face, right there. How about that? Mm Mm-hmm. Cool. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm sorry. All right. Here you go. You guys ready? You enter the. Yeah, sorry. Got a quick grunting. Putting you to sleep. Sorry. No, I was looking at. Sorry, this. I'm so bad at this. Jesus. Awful. I'm gonna kill myself. Well, what have we here? Let's take a look. Some kind of designs carved in relief on the floor. From above, you realize that these designs are actually dozens of tiny hallways connected to tiny rooms. Oh, no. Some have teensy treasure chests, while others feature tiny traps that would have trouble catching a mouse. But it's not mice these traps are after. Sorry, but that was a note to myself. What? Okay, so you're in the room. It's as I just described. So it's got a map on it? Yeah, basically, it's a, it's a relief carved. In the floor? In the floor, yeah. Any other evidence of? Do you want to inspect? Do we see like little yeah. people walking around or anything in it? Give it a look. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, this room is filled with a top-down view of a minuscule scale dungeon. So the relief you're seeing on the floor is 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 like a, a tiny miniature dungeon. Hmm. Does it look you see passageways. familiar like the dungeon that we've been going through? I mean, not really. I mean, you don't know what your dungeon looks like from the top down. You're seeing this dungeon as I mean, though, we've been in a lot of rooms. It's, like, it's, we're not uh, dummies. It's like mini. 
And so it's like you're a god and looking actually, down been... on this dungeon. You see the passageways, it's... the rooms. So it's... I imagine we can assume there's no roof see, on this dungeon. Though, yes. We can figure out where which rooms we've been at, though, I think, if we were looking at it. I mean, maybe, but that's not is what there this a, is. Is there an arrow that oh, says you are here? Gotcha. No. See, that's... Mm. So inside the dungeon, <laughs> you see an adventuring party comprised of a tiny cleric, a tiny fighter, a tiny rogue, and a tiny wizard cheerfully slogging their way through this tiny dungeon. So cute. Precious. Right? Lying on the stone floor outside the minuscule dungeon, outside the dungeon are several carved wooden figurines, a green dragon, an ogre, a spider, and a zombie. <gasps> and those are just carved wooden thingamajiggies. The little adventuring party inside the dungeon, for all you little can tell, pieces. are alive and adventuring through this dungeon. Ooh, I wonder if we put one of the monsters in the dungeon, and it'll come alive. Uh, well, we should definitely try. Definitely the dragon. Ogre. Eh, yeah, let's, let's be a little nicer. <laughs> Roll for it. Too. Ooh, what do we want to like I mean, a 1d4? Yeah. What are you going to do? Let's try doing that. All right, so one dragon, two ogre, three. What's one other one? Zombie. Zombie. Oh, that, you know what? Zombie would be good because I'm a cleric. Yeah, drag, uh, green dragon, ogre, spider, zombie. Okay, and four spider. Okay, ready? Three zombie. zombie. All right, where are you putting it? You putting it in a room where the adventures are at? We like want to put it like in the next room that they're going to go into. Yeah, that's a good idea. All then right. we that not just get. What if it just drops in? You know, right? That'd be weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or we just like maybe All right. hold our we swords up. We put it up in the room. And maybe like it'll pike itself. Maybe like a room that they're going towards, like the next. Okay. So you put the zombie down into the room that they're you know about to go into, and it comes to life. Little tiny zombie in the dungeon. And it hungers for flesh. Boy, is it hungry. It wants to eat in a big, bad way. The adventuring party opens the door to the room you've put the zombie in and sees the zombie immediately. They immediately go on guard. The uh, tiny cleric takes up a backspace for a moment. The fighter goes out front. The rogue is kind of doing its rogue thing, running around. And the wizard, you know, he's he's doing wizard shit. Wizard. Uh, wizard. Mm-hmm. They start to fight the zombie. The zombie comes at them, and they are a well-coordinated adventuring party. They're in this dungeon having a grand old time. They love it, and they dispatch that zombie like nobody's business. The fighter goes in and punches that motherfucker. The rogue comes out of nowhere, stabs it. The fucking wizard rains down, I don't know, fireball, why not? (laughs) Uh, And the cleric just kind of zones out. I don't know what's going on with that cleric. Probably a wizard. Nailed it. Cleric. Did you guys enjoy that little show they put on for you? That was mm-hmm. fun. Yeah. What are we going to do now? Do the um, next one. Ogre? Okay, sure. All right. We put an ogre in the same room. <laughs> what about a different room? Yeah. <laughs> what about room with treasure? Ooh. That'd be cool to see. All right. Do we want to see it with an ogre, though? Or... A dragon and a dragon and a treasure. Oh, yes, dragon and treasure. I mean, they seem to be pretty well coordinated and like. Yeah, dragon and treasure. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we take the dragon and put it in a treasure room. The dragon comes to life and sees the treasure and it's it's happy about that. It's a cool treasure. Treasure chest. What's the dragon look like? It's a young green dragon. So it's not a a fully grown badass dragon, but it's a dragon. But it's still a dragon. So. It's, 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 it, 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 it sits there, I guess. Um, do you want to put the other one in or just see what happens with the adventurers when they get to the dragon? I guess we could put like the other ones in somewhere. Like We could put yeah. like, a spider in a hallway and then put the ogre in another room. Why not? Yeah. All right. We we put. Is this, this cruel? Like, are we? I mean, they, they seem to have fun. Like, I feel like they like... were having fun. I feel like this is maybe like tagging a dimension or something um, that we don't know about. Eh, we don't know. Yeah, but they really dispatched that zombie. Well, like, they, you know, they were having fun doing not, it. We're not God. I think it's cruel not to do it. I mean, they're in a dungeon. These are the types of things you should be finding in a dungeon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, yep, just... Um, okay, so the adventurers, uh, the tiny adventuring party, wanders through the dungeon some more. They pass through that hallway with the spider, and they defeat it. Mm. No fanfare mm. here. It's a spider. Who cares? They kill that motherfucker in a big, bad way. 
We've had problems with spiders. Stab the shit out of it and whatnot. You know, it's bloody. Good times. That figurine's probably never going to be the same, but it's magic. Who knows? Uh, they wander through. They uh, miss the room with the dragon and uh, surprisingly are able to uh, find a way around the room that has the ogre in it. They get to the end of the dungeon, to the last room. They walk in and they are confused. This, you know, what's going on here? Is this the last room? I don't know. There's nothing in here. And they uh, walk walk through the door on the other side and are teleported back to the first room of the dungeon. Hmm. Aww. So they go through the dungeon again. So this is Groundhog Day. They're wandering <laughs> around. They they see the corpse of the spider they killed. Good times. They're not put down by it, though. They're still happy, just cheerful. They're thinking, oh, well, maybe we got to do something else to get out of here. Who knows? So they wander through, and um, let's see here. Well, I hope they remember where that room was so they don't go back to it. Okay, so they uh, they they manage this time to find the room with the dragon. All right. And uh, so they they start to fight the dragon. The cleric is is trying to heal, but the dragon is doing a lot of damage. Oh, the no. fighter's up there; it's stabbing at that, it's punching and and hitting at that dragon. And the dragon takes a bite out of the fighter's arm, just takes Ooh. that arm right off. Good times. Oh no! The rogue tries to sneak up on the dragon and and stab it, but the dragon, you know, waves its tail, slams the rogue into the wall. It's like, <laughs> you know, maybe some blood comes out the rogue's mouth. Uh, the you know the dragon sees the wizard about to light up a spell and hits him with fire. I'm and getting kind of mad at this. The oh, dragon, no. the the wizard no. burns alive, just just no. on fire okay. Okay. ashes. I literally go over and try and step on the dragon. That does nothing. You cannot break. I into keep the, doing it. I'm it pissed at it. I'm happens. so mad. I take my bottle, my potion of healing, and I try to like. Pour some on <laughs> <laughs> the party. Okay, well, the wizard's dead. The um, I mean, whoever's left alive. The fighter's missing an arm, throws? but now it's going to, I guess, heal a bit. It's what got happened one to arm. death saves? The rogue is feeling a bit better, wasn't dead yet. The cleric is still trying to heal. Uh, the dragon <laughs> goes and uh, it, it just... Bites the cleric in half. Just, <laughs> oh, no. This is such a Rick and Morty episode where it starts off all nice and then it just pisses you off. The fighter, with its one good arm, goes at the dragon. I grab the, the figurine and take it off. Nope. Can't do it. The dragon then it's... puts its giant paw and smashes the uh, oh. fighter. But it was a little baby dragon. That's a young dragon. It's a dragon, and though. What happened? It's a dragon. <laughs> It's not a giant dragon, but it's still got a big-ass paw. And then the rogue, seeing all this, despairs. Slits its throat. Yes. The rogue kills itself. Oh, jeez. I feel like Morty right now. Yeah, I was like, oh, (laughs) jeez. I know. Yeah, I guess when you're watching it, it is a little... Depressing. No wonder like, oh. he's scared and concerned. Oh, oh fuck him. they were doing so All right. well. Okay, what so happens next? As the rogue expires, expires. Yes, one of the uh, miniature treasure chests in the uh, dungeon pops open. Inside is an unbelievably tiny wand of magic missiles. It works normally, but a character has a fifty percent chance of losing it each time it is used or put away. A detect magic spell can't find it again, but. It's a tiny. It's an incredibly tiny wand of what I say magic, magic missiles. missiles, like something that we can pick up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. tiny one. Yeah, a little tiny wand of magic missiles. It works normal, like a normal wand of magic missiles, but it's very, very small. The missiles will be normal. All right. Well, it's, I fucking it, it, pick it up then. It, it Shit. It and does. the little treasure chest. You cannot pick up the treasure chest. You're but. a fucking awful <laughs> guy. <laughs> <laughs> so you take the wand. Okay, so uh, that was cool. So now you can get actually a... someone that was magic not cool. Take I'm this. like someone I'm a little mag- traumatized. Well, there. let's go get shit. Weren't there more treasure rooms in the dungeon? Didn't you say treasure rooms? I did, rooms but you don't. You don't want to try to take those treasures. Why? You'll take damage. How much? <laughs> Should I give it a shot? Come on, Meat Face. Let's just go somewhere <laughs> yeah. else. Okay. I we personally want to find that dragon. I am a and little fuck traumatized. No, let's just leave the room. Let's just be Morty and leave the room. <laughs> now that everything's settled, can I pick up the dragon? 
Yes, it becomes a wooden figurine again. I'm taking it. Okay. Now can we leave the room? Okay, so in this room, there's one door leading to a hallway where you can go back the way you came. Door to the hallway. Mm. Okay, you enter the hallway. There's dun, a dun, door dun. in front of you that leads to a room. Oh, Jesus. This one's got a lot going on, huh? Jesus Christ, what's going on? There it is. It started off so well, and then... Y'all wanted to play God. I'm... I wasn't playing God. I, I would thought I was giving them a good time. They looked like they were having fun. I think this is really what Morty feels like. Right here. So are you guys going to go into this next room? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I guess. Excellent. Excellent. Maybe this is meant to come out. I don't even know. It doesn't matter. What? No. What's what for? That's from when we had, when I pregnant. had children that I've had. I'm pregnant as hell. With. Okay. What? I know he had a vasectomy. Like, I'm just, was fucking around. Everything in this odd-shaped room is white. The walls, the floor, the ceiling, everything that is, except the four doors and a stressed-looking lady seated at a cheap desk, writing furiously on paper. Or how about parchment? And she's got an inkwell and a quill pen. How's that for immersion? A second after the door is open, the room elongates until it's a hundred feet long. Damn. <sighs> Let me guess. If we try to like run to the other side of the room, this it'll just gonna keep, keep going. Hmm. Anybody want to talk um, to this lady? I, I yell to her like, hey. Hi. Where is she? Hi. Like the middle of the room. Look, I, I don't have time. I don't have time to talk to you. I, I'm under a lot of pressure to to finish writing this part of the dungeon. Can we help? Oh, writing this part of the dungeon. That's right. I, I'm writing this part of the dungeon. I'm doing it furiously. I have to get it done. I'm on a deadline. I've got no time for your nonsense. Well, maybe we can help. No one else can write on this. I'm the only one that can do it. Hmm. And I have to do it. Can we just go go past her? You can try. <laughs> <laughs> You can certainly try. Can we just go past you, lady? We don't need to talk to you. <laughs> she's she's still writing. She's she's um, writing away. I try to go to the door to the you said there's four doors. Like the one we came from and then three more? Yeah. Okay, so I try to go. Is there like a door on the left? Is it like one on each wall or where are these doors? All right. The door you just came from, we'll say it's behind you. Uh there's a there's it's like a trapezoid. It kind of sucks. Um, the room. Right now it's 100 feet long, so it is what it is. But oh, I guess that would make the doors move, too. I'll say, are the doors 100 feet away from me? I mean, it got long. So there's a door. Yeah, let's say the doors got far away, too. So there's, there's let's Damn. say there's a door to, like, the east, about 50 feet away from you, and to the southeast... There's another door, and then the southwest, there's another door. So there's one over here, and there's two over here. But they are far apart, and uh, the room is kind of big right now, 100 feet long. Um, I try to go to the door that's 60 feet away. Oh, shit, I went too far. Hold on. All right, roll initiative. All of us? Damn. Yeah. No way. Matt, 20. I have a 20 also. Sim! <laughs> Nat Sim. God, I love these dice. Was that a nat 20 for both of you? Uh, no, she had a nat 20. I had a 17, but I have a plus three initiative. Oh, I didn't even add my initiative. I mean, fuck it, right? Oh, it's a nat, so six. <laughs> I got a negative. You have a negative yeah. for initiative? <laughs> nice. Weird for the tank to have a negative initiative, isn't it? I don't know. Shit, I don't even know if I'm a tank. We haven't really done all that much fighting. I don't okay, think. so you're walking, you walked into the room. No. You wish. I do wish. That's very beautiful. Is it Chinese? Oh. Japanese. Yeah. I did recognize Farsi today, though. That was cool. Why did you have an opportunity to recognize Farsi? Because I'm doing some marketing for this, uh, for this uh, guy who is a potter. And he had on a whiteboard or something, some something that said, like, good luck at your new studio All right, from so his you, buddy, and it was in Farsi. 
You activated the tenderizer. I didn't trap. read that. I didn't know it said good luck. And you, he told me that, but Did I you was see like, the Is tenderizer that trap? Yes. Okay. The writer, the she she yells she yells at you. You're not getting away. Here's a tenderizer trap. So for the next. Uh, Oh, no, my name is Meat Face. I'm not trying to see a tinder right now. Oh, you guys are so lucky. For the next round, five-foot diameter chunks of the ceiling fall at regular intervals, pretty much making the room a giant game of whack-a-mole. So, uh, let's see, a random character is targeted by a smashy bit. Okay, let's see. Uh, smashy which, smash. Which character is going to be targeted I here? Hope you're being, I hope you're rolling for fucking middle room bitch, too, getting hit. I mean, she's the one writing it, so probably no. Oh. All right, it's gonna it's gonna target uh, Ari first. Does she have a pen in her <sighs> hand or anything? She does. She has a. Why ink, did we have to roll an incident? Quill pen and an inkwell. I don't know. Don't question me. I <laughs> said we got twenties over here. We should be able to like defend ourselves. Roll a this. deck saving throw. Damn. Talking shit over here, Jesus. Eighteen. You succeed. You don't get hit. Good job. Woo! Way to go. Have a plus three dex. Yeah. All right. We let's see. So. Staff, what do you want to do? Lion, what are you doing? How far away is the rider from where I'm standing? Oh, let's say she's 10 feet from you. <clears throat> I'd like to cast Sacred Flame on on her. <laughs> so you just burn up all the parchment? Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, actually, I'm, I'm not aiming it at her. I'm aiming it at her, at her paper. Scroll. Yeah. Actually, I'm not going to use Sacred Flame. I'm going to use... Um, mm, yeah, okay, I'm using Sacred Flame. To burn up the parchment? Mm-hmm. Okay, the parchment burns up. She reaches into the desk and takes out another piece of parchment. <laughs> She's got a dungeon right here. She's got plenty of parchment. Mm -hmm. Okay. She really needs this job, so she is working hard. All right, uh, let's go with Ari again. What are you doing now? How do I stop this trap? Is it still going on? It lasted for one round, so I don't know if you know it's over, but... Uh, you got lucky, and I rolled, and it rolled a one. So you rolled, oh. it went for one round. So you I'm kind of like looking around to see if there's any more things coming down. Okay, I'm a little, I'm on edge now. Do you want to do anything for your action, or just look around? Hey, did my did the magic missile? Do I come with automatically knowing the spell of the magic missile? Yeah, let's say you know the like spell. it's a wand, right? So, so just like, no, I'm reading point, about shoot. it. Like it says, like that it's up to the DM, like. Stipulative. Oh. I guess As that's to whether how you I know what it does. It is like, yeah. Yeah. Um, let's say you know what it does. I mean, it's a one. I know that I'm gonna point it at something. Right. You know. I wasn't about to narrate an entire battle, though. Come on. Did I make it to the door? No. No. You absolutely did not make it to the door. Oh. Did they get two turns and I didn't get any at all? No. No. You're about I to get attacked. a turn. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, do I not have a, a stat for her? Are those two anywhere? Are you two anywhere near me still? I haven't moved at all. How far did I get? Hmm? How far did you get? Yeah. I don't know. How, how going fast can you move? The door. Fighters can move oh, 25 there she is. 30 right? feet. 30. Oh, he, you're a half elf. I'm an idiot. So I got halfway there? Yeah, but she can change the room as much as she likes. Damn. That's sort of her thing. And she really wants to get it done. So now you guys are in the testing phase, I guess. She's like, cool, people I can test on. Great. Your turn. What are you doing? Um, How far away am I from her? I don't know, 10 feet. Is that it? Sure. All right, cool. Why don't you just go, like, tackle her? I want to, like, run up on her and uh, with my shield in front of me, and I want to reach for her the uh pencil um and like kind of uh try and knock her knock her down while like put her on the ground while grabbing the pencil like i want to bum rush her or is that bum rush what are you doing are you tackling tackle what is what is that i mean like roll so, the hit shield <laughs> shield in the front and i'm like huh Okay, it's roll to hit. Gonna... It's like knock her away from all the parchment and stuff so she can't be writing And grab anymore. the pen at the same time. Okay. Roll to hit. What do I, do I get like dex or no idea. athletics? Well, I have no idea what a tackle pal. is. You would, you pick that. Uh, call athletics it, would be cool. Let's call it dex. Strength. Athletics strength. Hmm. 
Hmm? Maybe. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Dex. He did say Dex. <laughs> he did say Dex. <laughs> but why wouldn't it be strength? Or a strength? The DA's okay, always well, right. <laughs> what'd you get? Ten. All right. You successfully tackle her. Did I grab the pen? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Oh. What's a, how much damage does a tackle write. do? Uh, whatever you want. Probably like a, a 1D4. It's not a whatever I want. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably be like a 1D4. Okay, roll. Yeah, it is whatever you want, Matt. Welcome to being the DM, having to make decisions. One damage! Well, I didn't want to hurt her. I just wanted her to stop making writing. Right. Okay, it's her turn. She scrambles back up and goes to the desk and grabs another pen. <laughs> fucking starts writing, and she, this time... How'd she get out from under me? I'm pretty happy. She's heavy. awesome. Maybe it's the desk we should She's be. She's under a fuck for. ton of pressure here. And so... Or maybe we should just leave her alone. Can we just give you some money? I tried money? to leave. <laughs> I tried to just leave. Right, she's the one that said we couldn't leave. Hmm. All right, so now she's she's created a, a phantom gas trap. The fuck is that smell? Oh. The fuck is that noise? Uh, everyone roll a constitution save. Hmm. Oh. oh my god. Oh. Okay, I just critted. Oh, Seven. oof. Three. The noxious gas noxes me out. <laughs> Crit fail? Oh, yeah. Vicious. All right, so let's see. Do you even want to know what a, my saving throw? Actually, my saving throw is okay. It's four. All right, so you are poisoned for three rounds. Let's see here. Ch-ch-ch. Same for you. You're poisoned for two rounds. What? I rolled high-ish? No. What'd you roll? Seven. Yeah, that's not high. What are you talking about? <laughs> high. That's not even yeah. high-ish. <laughs> oh, shit. And again, uh, Jelly. What'd you roll? Or not Jelly. <laughs> Lion. Lion. <laughs> uh, three. Yeah, one good. You are poisoned for one round, though. Do we take any damage? Yeah, poison damage. I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's probably <laughs> up here somewhere. Mm-hmm. You did a good job on your nails, Matt. You said that you oh, didn't. No, you just, you'll have disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks, I guess. So you're not going to take any damage, but you've got disadvantaged on. That doesn't sound right. Attack roll. How many rounds did I say for you? Three? Three, Three two, two, one. Two? One, yeah. Okay. So we're not, t- aren't we taking like damage from poison? Nah, you're not taking poison damage. You're just going to, you're just going to. Have disadvantages. Yeah. You're going to suck at doing shit now. Good job. Because we've been doing so great thus far. I know. I'm telling well, you. So you guys are awful. <laughs> just don't question, be... it. don't what? question it. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Lion, your turn. What are you doing with disadvantage on attack rolls? <laughs> <laughs> so what? <laughs> the fuck? Who cares? Does that? That just means that <laughs> you win the roll if you roll right. What else does that mean? Disadvantage on attack rolls. Means you roll twice and take the lesser of the two rolls. Oh, got it. You're like, I punch. All right, roll twice. Okay. Which one sucked? Boom. Mm. All right, Lion. <sighs> okay. Um, I would like to um I'd like to go after her desk. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh Sacred Flame, her desk. That's what I do. Stop, drop, and roll, desk. Okay, fire starts on her desk. She jumps back with her parchment and pen and ink well. Fire starter. And uh, starts writing furiously, and three more desks appear <laughs> in the room. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, I guess we're going to try something different. <laughs> it's kind of fun to try it a little bit. Like, it's, it's a little Are I was just curious to see what would happen. Yeah. What's the pu- We got to figure out this puzzle. I mean, okay, let's see. I'm neutral good, so... I know, like she's throwing hey, traps at you. You know, I I I don't want to hurt you. I don't care yeah. what you want. I can gotta I finish this. I gotta threat. finish this room. Or you, yeah, you can you can finish the room. I just I just want to leave. I can't allow that. <laughs> Why? You've been in here now. You saw the unfinished room. It's not done. It's not meant to be seen. Well, how do we finish it? I gotta finish it. I gotta write it. Let it's us take help a long you. time. How about? I'll give you an idea. How about you write about us leaving the room? 
That's not going to happen. You have mm-hmm. four, or you have three, uh, like oh, wait, a bunch of yours. pens and desks. It's, it's I'll take a Ari's desk. Ari's turn. Lion will take a desk. Ari will take a desk. And we all just start writing, and then we can get it done like way faster. But this is my job, and I have to do it. We don't want any money. I don't want to pay you. We're not asking. I don't want you to do any of the work. <laughs> Your ideas are probably terrible. Mm. I've been hired to do this. I'm going to write it. I'm the best. So you're saying we can't do leave the room? Do you know that we're, we're the guests the room. here and that you're to treat us, you're to follow every whim that we have? That's not how dungeons work. Wait a minute. I'm writing this. Is this in your game? Hmm? Was this in your game? Mm-mm. Am I? No, Any you other actions told, or are you just going to try to talk to her? No. I that, take out my longbow and I, I shoot can, at her. I got Roll it. to hit. I have to start separating these games in my head. So, Dav, are you sure? That that's yeah. not in your game? <laughs> I'm positive. <laughs> oh, nice. 17. You hit. We're a, did a woman Roll damage. Yes, too? No. Wow. Okay. This is... I got to start really figuring this out. Seven damage. She's dead. <laughs> Loose! <laughs> Loose! <laughs> the room uh, reshapes back into its original dungeon-y form, not this crazy long room, just normal weird trapezoid room that still is a stupid shape and sucks. Uh, two of the desks disappear, one desk remains. Uh, I look at Ari disappointingly. I'm judging Ari. I'm judging myself. Please leave me alone. Okay, that's enough. That you Then you have enough guilt. Okay. <laughs> You have the she appropriate wasn't gonna, amount of guilt. Oh, she wasn't going to let us leave the yes. room. And she was trying to kill us with the trash. As long as you feel bad about it. <laughs> yeah, I feel bad about it. Good job. What are you I didn't want do? to le- kill I want to loot. I want to get that bitch's pen, the inkwell, the scroll, look through the desk. Okay, you look through the desk. Look through her robe. Okay, so a drawer in the desk contains a three-quarters empty bottle of scotch and a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Nailed it. You get that stuff. Write it down. It's your shit now. A little bit of scotch and a pack of smokes. Three quarters of a bottle. That's nice. And some smokes. You know how much the three tax quarters is empty. Here? It's a quarter of a bottle of scotch. It's three quarters empty. Why the Still, fuck would they say that? Just say a quarter of a bottle of scotch. Because you need to do math once in a while. Okay, you learned it in school. Let's put it to use. It's not math just to hear someone say a quarter. Well, you have to math it in your mind, I guess, because <sighs> you mathed it wrong. Quarter bottle scotch. And pack of smokes, are they... Uh... Menthol, yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now we want to do? I don't want to know how, how you knew I would want that. There is a, there's a room behind, or there's a door behind you where you just came through. And there's a door down the slanty-ass wall from that. And then a door very near to that in the south side of the room. I also want to... And then there's another door on the south side of the room. Did you let me take the pen and the scroll and the inkwell? Yeah, it's not going to help you with anything, but sure, you can take it. You can have it. You can become I a writer. I go Big to face. the door that I originally tried to go to. Which one was that? The south, the one that was like 60 feet away, the south one. Like southwest one or southeast? Southeast would have West, been closer left. to where you came in. Southeast. Okay. Does everybody want to do that? Want to get on board with that action? Okay, you open the door and there's a it's a hallway, but there's the hallway opens up into a room. So there's no door at the end of this hallway. It just opens up into the room. Okay. So uh gets a room, you know, looks like a room. Do you look inside? You so you went through the door, right? Yeah. Okay. It stinks like old hamburger meat in here. <laughs> Before you can come to appreciate the delicate bouquet, you see five zombies hunched over another rotten-looking figure in a plush-ass chair. It looks like the zombies are gesturing accusingly at the figure, which appears to be tied up. You miss a lot of the nuance of the zombie debate, though, since they're just grunting and moaning. If you want this room to be weirder, you're in luck, because these zombies got no butts. Whoa. Uh-oh. Darn it. Do I recognize who's in the chair? No, you don't recognize it. Hold on. It. Don't recognize it. Interesting. Oh, wait is a second. That Hold on. This is dumb. You guys, you guys already killed the butt trap. They got their butts back. Hold on. How do we get to room 37? That's where I want to go. All right, so you guys, this this you get a pass on this one because uh, you already you already we made it. You killed the butt trap. You went a way that didn't take you through this room first. Oh, 
if you had gone like this way originally, you'd have had to go back and then try to figure out how to get the Chud Cannon because the Chud Cannon is the only thing. That I can. like Chud Cannon too. So anyway, the the zombies they all got their butts, and you don't see the ghoul that was sitting in the chair. It left because the zombies' butts came back, and they're all restored. This is breaking up the story here. That was badly planned. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the zombies like you guys walk in and you see these zombies. What uh what do you do? You see Are some they, zombies do with they butts. See us? Do you do you make yourselves known? No. I mean I'll sneakily just try and go to the next room. Probably. Yeah, can we just like sneak around them and Are they threatening? No, they're not really threatening. They're just zombies now. And they're kind of dumb, so like they got their butts back. They were they were trying to accuse the ghoul of stealing their butts. That would have been cool, but they got their butts back. You already killed the trap. Zombies are dumb, right? Yeah. Let's just get behind my shield and try and walk past. Want to? Okay, let's do that. All right, we try to sneak past the zombies. Yeah, you sneak past them. They don't want anything to do with you. They were more They were more concerned about their missing butts. They've come back. The ghoul fled. And they were Where's like, All right. my butt? All right, so you, you pass through another door. There's a short hallway and another door at the end of that hallway. You want to go through that door? Yeah, sure. All right. At the center of this room floats a tiny orb of energy that lights the area up. The room has two other doors. Um, can I inspect the ball? Do you all go into the room? Mm. Yes. Mm. When the last of you enters the room, the door you all came through suddenly slams shut. <gasps> Spooks. The door you came through and the other doors are no longer alone. All the walls are suddenly covered with identical doors, 12 in all. Weirdly, you're no longer sure which door you came through to get in here. Damn. Hmm. Doors everywhere. What's the energy doing? Or the ball, right? And it's just lighting up the room and also making you forget which doors are real. Can I look at the ball? Yeah, you can look at it. It's just an orb that's lighting up the room. It's just floating around. Okay. Floating, there's 12 doors. Thing. There are now 12 doors. Hmm. All right. I... Go up to the closest door to me, and I want to inspect it for traps or anything. Okay, okay. There's no traps on the door you go up to. Okay, I try to open it. You open the door, and it's a circular room, and so the 12 doors, it's, it's a very circular room. Sure. Uh, so you open the door, and the door directly opposite from you also opens. When you open the door, you open. I try to walk through the door. You walk through that door and come out the yep. other door. That <laughs> you are back in this room. Good job. All right. Do the door slam shut again? Or do they stay open? Yeah, I mean, they stay open. Okay, okay so cool. at least we know, like, we can start narrowing it down, right? I take my sword, though, and I make a little, like, scratch on that door. So I know that I've gone through that door, and then I walk over to the other one and put a scratch in that one, too. Okay. Okay. We're not in rounds, so whoever wants to go next. or I'll, I'll, you wanna... Yeah, just do yeah, it. I'll just take a door. <laughs> yeah, and I'll do the, the closest door to me, and I'll do the same okay, thing. Okay, closest door to you. You open that door, and the door directly opposite from you opens as well. I stick my hand through the door, like my arm. Oh, that's super weird. You see, like, your hand coming out <laughs> through the door. <laughs> no, <what? laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. I see what's happening here. I also, I, 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 take, my, I take my mace it. and I just kind of like etch, you know, scratch the door. Okay. Uh, do the same. All right. Hold you it. open a door, a door directly mm -hmm. across from you opens as well. Then etch it. Okay. You, you etch it. You assume that if you go through it, you'll just be in the same room. I also yell yeah. through the door. I'm like, hey, hello. hello. <laughs> <laughs> well, you hear in real time your voice, not like an echo. I mean, Damn. as if you were yelling oh, into <laughs> the room you're in. That'd be cool, though. Like you're in a speaker. It's not. Yeah. All the doors suddenly fly open, but where you saw into the same room before, all you see now is darkness. Mm. Damn. Mm. Cast whatever flame. Am I I've got nothing magical, so... I have a spell called light. I do not have this night is vision. Be fun. All right, what do you guys want to do? Right, maybe you should send some light into the dark. You have night vision, right? Uh huh. Uh, you guys can get lucky on this, or it can get weird. I hope <laughs> it gets weird. Oh, I have like matches. Um. Okay. I I I have a cantrip called light, and this is basically where I can make any object. Um. It sheds bright light in twenty foot radius, for yeah, and dim light for an additional twenty feet. 
So I would like to use one of my torches, I guess. Cast light on the torch and throw it into one of the rooms, one of the doors. Throw it. I mean, I don't. Yeah. We just hold it. I mean, I don't want to go in there yet. I want to. Oh, yeah, throw it see. in there. That way, maybe it'll light up more area. Okay, you see what appears in through one of the doors without passing through the door. You see the torch goes in there and it sort of lights up the room and it, it sort of looks like the room you're in. It sort of looks like the room. Sort of, in. yeah. I mean, you know, hmm. maybe. <laughs> well, what do you say? Do you want to go through? Do you want to go into that room and see what it's like? Sure. Do you all go through the door? We all go through the door. Okay, I go through the door. Yay. Uh-oh. So you all went through the door, so you all are overwhelmed by the certainty that squirrels don't control this dimension. You're certain. You're certain that squirrels do not control this dimension. I have this weird feeling that squirrels don't control this dimension. Yeah, you're you're in a, you're in a room looks exactly like the room you were in, but huh. you 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 notice it's you're in a different dimension now. Same room, different dimension, but in this yeah. dimension, you know squirrels aren't in charge. Yeah, follow me here, and this may be a bit nutty. <laughs> But I, I think that squirrels are not in charge here. Yeah, I think I would. But agree I think with that, that we're definitely in a different spot than we were. It definitely feels rather different dimensiony, but not one controlled by squirrels. I agree. I okay. yeah. maybe woodchucks. That's for sure. Whoa. Um. Well, how many doors are in this room? There's you know twelve doors in this room. Okay. Mm. Can we tell which door we came in through? Yeah, you, you we can tell it. this one, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I feel a little bit weird being in a place that's not in, con- in control, that's not being controlled by squirrels. So maybe <laughs> you'd rather it was controlled by squirrels. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, oh, wow. You can't go to that other room. Is that? Why can't we? No, I mean, you do what you want. I was reading ahead to see. Hmm. Um, I try to walk up to a door and like, are these doors open or closed? They're open, yeah. The same. It's basically the same room. Nice. All right. I try to find the, do like the doors that we put little etches on. Do we still see those doors in this room too? Sure. Why not? Okay. So I try to find one that we didn't put an etch on, and I like just stick my head in. You're just gonna stick your head. In. <laughs> yep. <sighs> I mean, because this one's not controlled by squirrels, so. Yeah, but it, we do know it's a different dimension. <laughs> I know. Well, maybe I'm good feeling it's a different. There's a different, hey, different dimension. What do you see in there? Okay, so this dimension, if you're only sticking your head in, you don't notice too much. It just looks like the same room. It looks like the same room. <laughs> what? Go- I wonder if this one will be controlled by squirrels. Put the rest in. <laughs> All right, I walk into the room. All right. I so- want to wait a second. You know. Yeah, do you want to stay back? What about Just you? Just for a second, not for long. Lion, you want to you want to stay back? Or you want to go into the room too? I'm, I'm going to stay back. Okay, so you're both staying back? Just for a minute. All right, Ari, you walk into this room and you notice that every surface is slightly bouncy. <laughs> and that's that seems weird to you. It's di- you, you, is- you're seeing that it's a different dimension. Uh, but you also notice Lion and uh, Meat Face are in the room. Did you almost say Lux? No, I was just trying to remember what the hell your character's name was. Oh. Hey, Lion? Or what? Are you, Meat Face, what are you doing here? I thought you were still in the, the last room. What are you talking about? We've been here. That's I, We didn't say that. What do you mean you've been here? I came in first. No, we were in here, and then you came in. That's an alternate reality. Shit, do we get a new... A parallel universe. Do we get a new Ari? No, you don't get a new Ari. Oh. Why is it so bouncy in here? Everything's always been bouncy. That's how things are. <laughs> Just things are bouncy. <laughs> it's awesome. It's, I go back into pretty cool. the previous room. Okay, you go back and there's there's lion and and me face that you know, oh, hi. the non bouncy kind. What, what, what was in there? Yeah, what did you see in that room? What do you mean? What did I see in the room? You were there <laughs> with me. No, we weren't. We were right here the whole You've been time. Here the whole time. <laughs> no, you were right there. No, we were. What? Wait a minute. Are and everything was bouncy. Wait, 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 wait. Did they have goatees? <laughs> classic, classic evil twin shit. You know, I wasn't paying attention. I say I want to meet myself. That sounds pretty kind of neat, huh? I, I mean, don't. <laughs> if you wanna, 
I mean, did they seem dangerous? I mean, they didn't attack me or anything. Well, I hope not. They, If it's us, they know you. I sort of feel like that's how this goes down, but I might be misreading it, but it's fine. What are you guys doing now? You want to try a different door? <laughs> I want to go back in. I, w- I want to go meet myself. It won't be there if you go in. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> Just off the cuff stuff. Do you want to try a different door? I, yeah, I, I, I want to try. Yeah. Okay. Etch that fucker. Let it know that we were here. I want to go through a different door. All right. You go through it? I go through it. Everything smells like licorice. Gross. Ooh. Black licorice or red licorice? The gross kind. Mm. I don't like this. I go back. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's the same exact same room, yeah. but everything smells like licorice. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna go back. I'm not a big licorice fan. Good job. What was that room like? Oh, Ryan? it's everything's probably like licorice. And not the good kind either. Ooh. All right, I go into a door or into a room. This is the exit door. You're free. There's a hallway. Do you want to tell your friends? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I uh, poke my head back in. Hey, guys, I think this is how we, I think, think this is the end. Ah, sweet. I go yeah. follow her. Me too. All right. You all successfully exit the uh, many doors room. Yeah. With the walkers right. dimensions. Good job. And that'll do us for this episode of Some Would Play versus Rick and Morty versus Dungeons and Dragons versus people. People in the streets. Bow, bow, bow. Bow, bow, bow. Join us next time to see what other kinds of crazy bonkers rooms we can go into.